AD. On a battlefield in Britain's Midlands, warrior queen Boudicca's Celtic army has finally come face to face with the Roman legions of General Suetonius. Not long after the battle begins, thousands of dead and wounded Britons litter the ground. Boudicca gives the order for the second wave of attack on the Romans. This time, they crash into a wall of shields held by the heavily armored legions. The Roman army is an unstoppable killing machine when they are pressed face to face against the Celtic warriors. The Celts are using a long sword, and what this Roman does is takes the blow on his shield, your arm is up in the air, and he brings this nasty, beastly little short sword of his into your belly and up behind your ribs, into your heart and lungs, and you're dead. Romans marched forward, and because the Romans kept their formation, they were able to get into a stabbing motion, and of course, the carnage was immense. Despite the superior number of Celtic warriors, the legions of Roman soldiers are impenetrable. The Roman strategy calls for continuously rotating the front line of soldiers into the rear of the fighting formation. The man in the front line thrusts his enemy back with his shield and stabs him with his short sword. But he can only do that for a limited length of time, perhaps six minutes. The man behind pushes forward to take his place, and then he becomes the front line. He then takes up the fighting while the man who's been relieved goes to the back of the line. And this repeats and repeats and repeats. If you have eight ranks deep, you fight every 40 minutes. Again and again, Boudicca's Celtic army charges the Roman legions. Suetonius gives the order for his reserve line to advance in wedge formation. This deadly assault tactic compresses the weight and force of the Roman soldiers. They push forward, smashing into the Iceni, trapping them in the corners of the formation. We're not talking about people simply arranged in a triangle. We're talking about soldiers snugged in together to make a solid metal weapon. Behind these Iceni warriors is a wagon train, and these warriors are turning around. Some are fleeing, Others are pressed back towards this wagon train. Thousands... Dorian Tacitus describes the slaughter. The remaining Britons fled with difficulty since their ring of wagons blocked the outlets. The Romans did not spare even the women. 